Welcome back, and I should have a nice short video for you today. This one shouldn't take too long to create. But I'm going to use uh, some more advanced commands in this one, so you're going to see me do a lot of grips and a lot of things with the keyboard. So I'm going to try to explain what I'm doing, and I'm going to very rarely use any of the toolbars at the top. This is kind of super important when you're doing things like this, just to speed up your keystroke and make you become a better AutoCAD user. So I'm going to try my best to minimize any of the going up there to the ribbon just to show you that you can be just as effective using the keyboard now in this one you're going to see that we have quite a few circles right so we're going to knock out these first two circles right and then from here i'm able to copy these circles and then you can use the properties and adjust those properties and do other things like that all right so let's go ahead and have fun with this it's going to be kind of a little different on the way we're going to create this but i hope you appreciate it all right So here we are in AutoCAD. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and turn off this grid. And then the next thing I'm going to do is create a circle, right? So I'm just going to type C on my keyboard, hit the space bar. I will select a point where I want. I always try to drag out and give a preview. And now to make it read a diameter dimension, I'm just going to hit D and the space bar. And then from here, I'll type in 20. Hit the enter button. I'll go to enter again that's going to take me back to the last command right I'm just going to touch the edge of this circle and then go to the center remember that if center is not one of your running O snaps make sure that you click this icon here and then select and make sure that there's a check next to it but I'm just going to go back to the circle command right so I touched I'm going to click on this plus sign here I pull out just just drag it out a little bit I'm going to type in D spacebar and then I'm going to type in 12 right just going to zoom out just a little bit. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and copy these two circles, right? So I'm going to go CO, space bar. I'm going to select both of these circles, enter, pick a base point here. Then I'm just going to drag this direction, right? I'm going to turn my ortho on just so I keep it locked this direction. And as I'm pulling this direction, I'll type in 100. Escape. Next, I'm going to do a move. So M, enter. I'm just going to select this one here. Hit the space bar. Pick a base point here. And I'm going to drag this direction and type in 5. Now both of these circles have two different sizes. The bigger one here I'm going to set to 30. And then the smaller one I'm going to set to 22. So I'm going to select this one. And if you do a right click and bring open the properties window, I'm going to select over here. Here you can see where I have the radius and the diameter. So this one has a radius of 30. Go ahead and hit the enter button. You should see it adjust. Go ahead and hit escape twice. Next, I'll go ahead and select this one. And then in the properties window, I'll go and find the radius again. And tell it that this one is going to be 22. All right. Go ahead and hit escape. Now let's use the line command. So L, enter. You can type in T-A-N. So the first three letters are the O snap that you want to use. And in this case, I'm going to use tangent. So I'm going to type in T-A-N, hit the enter button. I'm going to select this part of this circle. Type in T-A-N again, hit the space bar. Then click here, escape. Do the same thing again, right? So I'm just going to hit the space bar just to take me back to the line command. I'll type in T-A-N, space bar, just to use it as an enter button. I'm going to select down here on this circle. T-A-N, space bar. And then I'm going to select part on this circle right go ahead and hit escape now I'm going to use grips to mirror this or I can use the regular mirror command but in this case I'm going to select both of these lines I'll go ahead and select this grip I'm going to click the space bar until I see the word mirror here at the bottom so here's the mirror one next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the base point so I'm going to select base point I'll go ahead and select the center of this circle and then I'm going to also select the word copy once I have those two selected, I'm just going to drag over to this direction, do a left click, then escape. So I'm going to escape twice to get out of the command. While I'm here, I'm going to draw a line from this quadrant going to the left. Now it doesn't matter how long it is, as long as it passes through this circle here. 
just like I did before. I'm just going to scroll into here. I'm going to select here. Select this grip. I'm going to hit the space bar twice. That should give me rotation. Select copy. Then I'm going to type in 45, enter. Negative 45, enter. Escape twice. Go ahead and erase this line here. And I just selected that line and hit delete on my keyboard. Next we can go to trim. So I'll just type in TR, enter, or TR spacebar. Let's go ahead and trim off the stuff that we don't want. So let's trim off this portion here. We're going to get rid of these two outside circles here. And then this one. Let's go ahead and trim off in between here. And then here. Alright. Go ahead and hit escape twice. And now this one is completed. So you can see how simple and easy it was. And I didn't have to go up and use any of the toolbars. It's very nice and convenient if you are able to memorize some of the shortcut commands. It will make your life super duper easy. And what I mean by shortcuts is like, for example, instead of going up to the top and selecting L, I mean selecting the line command, you can always hit L, enter, or copy. You see me do CO, enter, or some of the other ones. Trim is TR, and I could have used mirror, which is MI. So the more you use this, the better you will get at not having to go up and find certain commands. Because, you know, some of the commands are buried. If I wanted to use the lengthen command, for example, I can easily type in LEN as opposed to coming up here and underneath the modify button and then go and find the lengthen command, right? And another thing is that sometimes I don't even remember what some of these commands are, right? So really beneficial to you to start using those. It's going to help you out a lot and really speed up your keystroke and AutoCAD, all right? So enough about me rambling. If you found any value in this, please stay Keep tuning in, and I really do appreciate you, and until the next video.